Hello and welcome to my kitchen. I have a new project that I'd like to share with you guys. So the story behind this project is that a while back I was hanging out with my nephew uh, and he asked me to draw uh, mazes, like a labyrinth that he could, like on a piece of paper that he could uh, solve. It was, it was, it was great fun. Uh, the first five or six uh, labyrinths I made, it got pretty tedious after a while and I figured uh, we can automate this. What's wrong with automate fun, right? So I set out to build a device that could generate a maze using an algorithm instead of trying to come up with the maze myself uh, and then have the device print the maze on a piece of paper uh, and then he could solve it using a pen. So I, I got a, a thermal printer and that I hooked up to Raspberry Pi. On the Raspberry Pi, I have a Python script running and that is and that is generating the maze and then sends the maze to, to the printer as an image. There, there are many different ways of generating mazes on a computer or with an algorithm. I use an algorithm called recursive backtracking. It's, it's a pretty simple algorithm uh, that works like surprisingly well. It's very cool to see the algorithm in action and kind of see the maze uh, grow from, from nothing. I will show you on the whiteboard how the algorithm works on a, on, a, on a very high level. And then if you want to know more details, there are many videos on YouTube or you can go to Wikipedia and you can read about the algorithm. Uh, but I'll quickly show you how it works. We start off with a grid of cells or a matrix of cells. We pick a starting cell. We take this one, top left. The algorithm will now pick um, a neighbor cell to, to the start cell at random. So, so a neighbor cell is an adjacent cell uh, to, to any cell, um, but not a diagonal cell. So this cell has got two neighbors, this one and this one. So at random we'll pick one. Say we pick this cell, uh, and then we move, move uh, over to that cell. So from that cell we'll do the si same thing. Uh, we'll find a neighbor that we haven't visited yet. So either this cell or that cell. Say we go down here. And on this cell, we'll do the same thing. So we can go here, here, or here. Say we continue down at random. Uh, and we come down here. We can go either here or here. Say we'll move to the left here. Um, and the only way we can move from here is up. And same thing here. Uh, and this is where it starts to get interesting. Uh, we've ended up on this cell and we can't go anywhere from here. Uh, the cell does not have any unvisited neighbors. So what we'll have to do is that we'll have to backtrack, hence the name. So we'll, we'll move back to this cell. Uh, can we move anywhere from here? No. We go back to this cell. Can we move from here? No. We come back to this cell and from here we have one unvisited neighbor. So we have to go here. And, and now we, we were kind of stuck in here and now we're free again. So from here, we can go here, 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 and we're stuck again. So we backtrack. Can we move from this cell? No. Can we move from this? Yes. Upwards. Um, when all the cells are visited, and because of the, the, the backtracking aspect of this algorithm, we will visit all the cells. Uh, and when all the cells are visited, and there are no more valid moves, and then we just remove the, the walls between the connected cells. And we have our maze. We have a start and I mean you can pick the end anywhere. Uh, I would probably put the end here. Uh, so there you have it. Uh, we've successfully generated uh, a maze using the recursive backtracking algorithm. So, so now that was a quick look at the algorithm used to generate the mazes. If you're interested in seeing kind of the, the, the nitty-gritty details and the implementation of the algorithm, 
uh, in Python. I have the source code available down here in the description. But I think that's all there is to know. Um, let's let's roll the build montage. <laughs> So cool about this build is that you can kind of customize it. You you have a Raspberry Pi, and you have the printer, and you have the button, and you and you can you can make a lot of different uh, projects. Get the, the 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 weather where you're at, and um, and you can print the the temperature, and the, and you can make like a news headline printer thing that will print the latest headlines when you press the button. I hope you enjoyed this project, and if you did, you know what to do. Uh, cool. See you next time.